so hello everybody it's your beauty 7 here and today i figured we'd get into if i could only keep 10 video but uh, sorry i gotta grab some stuff um i decided to go into the foundation and concealer because i noticed that the videos that are on my channel are the most popular are foundation and concealer i'm sorry complexion products and then um eyeshadow palette so i already did the eyeshadow palette video i'll try to remember to link it to the end of this video or in the description box down below so you can go check that one out but y'all know me i had a whole bunch of honorable mentions and then i didn't really have 10 i had like double 10 because you know i leave stuff at my grandma's house and i leave stuff at my boyfriend's house so i was like oh i have a whole bunch of stuff just sitting around everywhere but anyway um, let me go ahead and get started i'm gonna start with the drugstore stuff believe it or not and then we're gonna go into the high end because i feel like y'all expect me to just start off with the high end stuff so we're just gonna switch it up a little bit start off with the little affordable um drugstore things and then we're gonna like venture into the high end situation i do have a couple of honorable mentions in the high end i only have one honorable mention in the drugstore so i think i did good because y'all know i always have to have an honorable mention i don't know what it is but i just have to like I always have this extra thing I just have to mention. But anyway, let's get started. So can y'all, I feel like y'all should be able to guess at least two of the foundations because I tried them this year and then one I tried, I'm sorry, three of them I tried this year and then one of them tried last year. So it's like drugstore stepping it up because I'm putting y'all in my videos of if I can only keep 10, you know. But I tried to even it out fairly because otherwise I would have just had like 10 <laughs> high-end ones. But I could have did a 10 high-end one and then just did a drug, if I can only keep 10, five drugstore and five like, um, drugstore concealer and foundations as in one group but i just decided to do it this way if y'all want to see it like that let me know and then i can redo the um this video with just 10 high-end foundations because i could easily pick 10 high-end foundations and probably i don't know about 10 high-end concealers but 10 high-end foundations that i definitely think would be worth it but anyway let me stop rambling and get started because like i said i have not been to bed since like 7 p.m. yesterday and it's like damn near 11 o'clock and I still want to take a nap before my son gets out of school and expects me to give him all my attention till he has to go to bed at 9 o'clock tonight. Oh, uh, let's get started. So the first one, um, I got a couple, I got a few views on this video and then I went ahead and did the um, matching concealer with it and I think that one got a lot of views too or maybe just the matching, no, the matching concealer is what got all the views because I didn't actually do a video on the foundation. I compared it to the Pat McGrath foundation so I don't know if you all watched that video but I'll try to remember to link it down below too but anyway, I'm talking about the um, Born to Glow by um, NYX. I have the color Sienna and then the concealers I have golden and i think warm golden sorry golden honey and golden you can actually find these at cvs but they're current it was currently on sale at Ulta when i um last looked for seven dollars i don't know if it went down and i think the concealer was on sale for like five dollars or something like that i don't remember do not quote me about the concealer but i know for a fact that this foundation was seven bucks and this foundation is amazing it's only ten dollars you definitely need to get your hands on it it is one of my all-time favorite drugstore foundations if i could only keep 10 things in my collection i had to do half drugstore half high end these are definitely things i would put in there so i'm only putting the concealer in here because like it matched um the foundation but if i have a concealer that matches the foundation or concealer from the brand of that i have a concealer from that brand of foundation that i might go ahead and mention into that but this is the only one that literally went with this line perfectly so i feel like i should just show them both now but like i said i wear sienna in the foundation and in the concealers i wear golden honey and golden so um these are definitely two things i feel like if i could only keep 10 and i had to pick five drugs on five high end it would definitely be one now the next one I'm going to try to mix it up and do one I didn't do this year. And the concealer that goes with the foundation is an honorable mention. So this is the L'Oreal Infallible um, 24, up to 24 hour fresh water foundation with um, SPF 25. I wear 515 Deep Copper. And I put the concealer in here as an honorable mention. This is the Infallible Full Wear Concealer. I wear the color honey 415 these are beautiful together but this foundation on its own like my mom says she likes this foundation on me better than a lot of the high-end foundations that i own and this is like 9.97 at walmart this stuff is absolutely amazing it is so beautiful on the skin and if i had to keep something from the drugstore this is definitely be one of the things like i said this is only an honorable mention because i have other concealers that i like better that i reach for more than i do for this one that are sitting over there that i keep looking back at 
and they're a little bit more affordable not like a whole lot they're around the same price point but one of them is like literally only six dollars but i feel like y'all should know which concealer that is and if you don't i'm ashamed of you but um this um foundation is definitely one that i definitely think you should need and this is an honorable mention because it's a great product and obviously it's going to go well with that foundation so i figured i was just mentioning the honorable mention with that so this is good but it didn't make it into the five for me just because i have other ones that i reach for more than i reach for this okay next i will go into some um covergirl believe it or not because i don't really <laughs> use covergirls so i have two covergirl foundations so how about that covergirl stepping up for real because i usually never ever like look to them for anything and the foundation they had in the packaging like this that i liked they got rid of it was the ready set gorgeous they got rid of it but i went ahead and tried this one out because i saw it and i was intrigued by it this is a light to high i guess light coverage foundation so i usually have to put found powder foundation on just to get me to medium sorry i have the shade 620 deep you all seem to like this video because it had a decent amount of views on it um this isn't a product i would use regularly like in the summertime when i had to go run errands really quick or i'm having like a really good skin day is when i'd reach for something like this because as you all know i have oily acne prone skin so a product like this isn't necessarily good for me but i like the finish on it i think it's a wonderful product and i wanted to pick things that majority of the things you could pick up from the actual drugstore which is another reason i picked this as opposed to like picking the julius place foundation that just came out but um this is a great product i would definitely recommend it and i want to put something in here for people that don't necessarily like full coverage that are more of light coverage people so that's another reason i put this one in here the next one i have is the cover girl true blend matte foundation now y'all remember when this first came out this is a comfort matte foundation and i had the shade d50 i remember when this first came out i was all about it but then i went to the drugstore and i couldn't find my shade and i was like so because it went from i think like d10 or d30 and then skipped all the way to like d90 so i was like so everybody in between is supposed to go where but they have since fixed that problem like i went into the drugstore recently and i found my shade in this but like i think i reviewed this like over a year ago and that literally happened i think like last year so it took them a while to get it together but i mean it's still a good product so that's why i forgot to go ahead and mention it and then i have the true blend what are these concealers they put the sticker over true blend undercover concealers i have two different colors i have caramel and i have golden caramel these obviously are going to work perfectly together again because they're both from the same line and these products look beautiful together if i remember correctly i know i've used the concealer with a few other things i don't remember if i actually use it with the foundation or not but i'm quite sure it will look perfect together just because you know they're both from the same line and i definitely recommend these two products if you want more of a like soft matte but it's going to give you that full coverage as opposed to the um skin milk that i showed you that's going to give you that light coverage and then you could use this concealer on it to make that medium coverage if you show chose to but these are definitely drugstore things I feel like I definitely would want in my collection if I had to. And then last, but certainly not least, one of my favorite of all time drugstore blends, Miss Maybelline herself. I have the Dream Radiant Liquid Foundation with Hyaluronic Acid and um, Collagen. This is supposed to be a hydrating foundation. I have my shade, of course, Coconut 125. This foundation is amazing. The first time I tried it, I was like, yes. Now, the powder I tried with it, I didn't like. So, it um, it kind of had me down on it. But I still end up taking a pretty cute Instagram picture. The one where I'm, like, grabbing my ponytail like this. And um, I use the Artist Couture um, review. I'll, I'll try to leave that link down below so you can see, like, the picture that I'm talking about. Whatever. Or you can just go to my Instagram. But, like, I had this foundation on. And everybody's talking about how perfect and flawless and nice my skin looked. I was wearing this. But I was wearing that L'Oreal Infallible Powder. And it's, like, way too dark for people that are my skin tone. I feel like if you wear a couple shades darker than I do. Like, if you're too much mouse color, that powder will be fine for you. But otherwise, I would stay away from it. Because it's just darkened this foundation. And it made my face look darker than my body. It ended up working out um, in the picture, though. Because in, um real life i had the lighting just right for that picture in order for it to work out but in real life girl my face was darker than my body and that's not a vibe that's not ever anything i like so just stay away from that powder for my skin so it's my best advice maybe it'll work for us in the summertime but don't try it now don't don't even do it to yourself anyway back to this foundation because i just got on a random side note but yeah this foundation is amazing you definitely need to try it out if you have not again you can get it at Walmart for $9.97, and it is just beautiful. It wore beautifully. It looked wonderful. It didn't leave my skin looking super oily and crazy, and it is one of those gems of the drugstore that you need to try out. So, now we're going to get to some concealers. So, 
I have the Milani Conceal and Perfect Long Wear and Concealer. I wear the color Deep Tan 165. This concealer is absolutely amazing. It's like hydrating, but it still gives you like a decent amount of coverage. And it's a beautiful shade for some of my skin tone who likes a nice highlighted under eye. Now, this isn't like super highlighted. It's just a nice little regular highlight. I like um this color i usually like a little brighter of a highlight though so please keep that in mind if you don't like a brighter of a highlight than like one shade lighter i usually do like two sometimes three if i'm trying to be super extra but um i usually do about two so if you only like one highlight shade lighter you might want to get a darker shade but um this is an amazing concealer kathleen lights was raising raving about it i really like it this is like the only thing i like from milani though when it comes to complexion like i i never like any foundation i try from them this is why that screen queen is in here but in all fairness i think i bought the wrong shade because i'm when i watched andrea renee's video she said she bought 480 and i bought 500 so i think i ended up buying our summer shade by accident but when i was in store i didn't like the way 480 looked i didn't think it would look good on our skin tone but it could have been the fluorescent lighting that messed it up anyway again i'm rambling about something that has nothing to do with what we're talking about this concealer is amazing like i said shade 165 deep tan go get it and try it out for yourself and you'll see what i'm talking about it's amazing and i like to use it with with this foundation right here this um the dream radiant high dream radiant liquid foundation by maybelline they look beautiful together i also like to use these pretty fresh concealers by ColourPop. i have two different colors i have dark 158w and then medium dark 145w i feel like these look beautiful together what i'll usually do is start with this one underneath the eye and then i'll use this one to brighten up or i might brighten this one up all over the face i think in the summertime i'm just most likely gonna use this one and a mixture of this one but i usually do that year round these concealers are amazing i think they're nine dollars each they're kind of small in my opinion but like the formula is so amazing yet yeah, like they're only 0 0.30 ounces i don't know if that's a lot for concealer or not but these concealers are amazing you definitely need to try them out now i didn't want to try out the tinted moisturizer because i'm a full coverage type of girl so tinted moisturizer never sounds like a good, like a good idea for me i got like all these breakouts going out over here right now i know you can't tell but that's because i spackled on like a whole bunch of foundation and concealer and foundation powder and all that stuff on top in order for me to get <laughs> to where we are now so this line wasn't necessarily made for me the concealer is amazing i think it gives good coverage considering it came from a line that doesn't have that much coverage when it comes to the complexion product but that foundation just was not a vibe for me and i wasn't i'm sorry tinted moisturizer was not a foundation for me and i was not vibing with it but that concealer yes honey grab it and the last one we have from the drugstore section is and i feel like y'all should have seen this coming was the elf 16 hour camo concealer now i told you all in the video for the um the new one that i love this concealer i think this is a great concealer especially for the price i especially like the shade here deep olive it reminds me of walnut from um nars now it doesn't have the um the same formula as the one from nars that one seems like it's more creamier and a little more hygiene than this one is this one is kind of drying so just keep that in mind you might want to put an under eye primer underneath the eyes in order to help out with the dryness of this or better eye cream before you start off for six bucks sis just you know i definitely suggest you try it out if nothing else if you don't like it you can always highlight your face with it as opposed to sticking it underneath your eyes but yeah so that ends my drugstore section now let's move on to my high-end section so i'm trying to decide if i should do the honorable mentions first and then get into the stuff we're going to talk about or do it the other way around i think i'm just going to go in with the um honorable mentions and um i think there's only one thing out of this section you haven't seen and that's because i um just got it recently because since mm -hmm. it's not cat von d um beauty anymore i figured we might be able to go ahead and try it out but i have tried it out a couple of times myself before you know like i got with y'all sorry you know I, I couldn't wait plus i didn't know if you'd even want to be bothered with this but this is the cat von sorry the kvd beauty kvd vegan beauty um true portrait liquid to powder foundation i have the color tan 074 if i remember correctly i wore 074 in the um the locket foundation so i just went ahead and bought the same shade and this shade looks beautiful on me i think um i guess i've worn it a couple times it looks amazing i absolutely like this foundation it's just more of i have other foundations i reach for more and wear more and since she's still problematic i didn't know if you all necessarily want to see a video on it i didn't want to put it in as one of my top favorites and y'all be like you've been testing all the time no i think i've only used this maybe two or three times at best when i didn't have a new foundation to test out and i wanted to try this out to see how i felt about it but yeah this is a good foundation i heard tiff jeff talking about it and that's the only reason i ended up buying it because i saw it on her face i was like oh okay i'll try it 
and you know they had just Kat Von D had just been bought out so I was like okay it's cool it seems like it's fine so the next honorable mention I have is the iconic London seamless concealer in the color deep tan I actually have this underneath my eyes and highlighted on my face right now um I think this is a great concealer it's just more of their concealers that I like more than this and I reach for more than this and it's mainly because of the color I feel like this has a really weird undertone to it when you look at the container but when you put it on the face as you can see it looks fine on my under eye my under eye doesn't look this dark weird color it looks just fine it's just more of because of the color in the tube it makes me not ever really reach for it as much as I do for the other things that you're about to see so that's why it's an honorable mention there's nothing wrong with the product I absolutely love the product I think it was in my favorites of 2019 so it's not like it's not good it's just more because of the undertone and I have other stuff I know I can just look at it and be like yeah that undertone is going to work for me I just reach for it over this so I'm trying to make myself use it more this year though because I know it's a good product it's just the undertone is so weird so this thing makes me hard and not want to be bothered so the last honorable mention I have before we actually get into the stuff that um I would keep if I had, um, if I could only have 10 things of each, um, category is the Beauty Bakery Insta Bake Foundation and Concealer. This stuff is great, but since I had to pick a drugstore one and I feel like this is the high-end equivalent of that, um, Maybelline Radiant, Dream Radiant Liquid Foundation, I felt like I didn't need both of those, so that's why I made this an honorable mention instead of actually putting it in here this foundation is amazing it actually gives pretty decent coverage considering it's supposed to be the aqua glass like natural skin thing it still gives really good coverage and so does the concealer i have the color sugar daddy in the concealer and then i have the color 315w in the foundation and again shout out to andrea renee because i didn't know what color to get so i kind of held off on it a little bit and then she came out with her review because beauty bakery sent it to her and then i was like yes of course so then i knew what to get so when the 20 percent off sale came at all so i just went ahead and snagged both these up and gave you all the video for it i don't think that many people watch this video though i don't know if they weren't interested i feel like beauty bakery doesn't get that much attention but they don't come out with stuff that often and then when they do it seems like people don't aren't really too concerned about it as bogus as it is but i thought that was a really good product so i felt like i needed to honorably mention it especially since i don't really talk about them that much on my channel either it was like after they came out with those setting powders and they had the mishap with the first foundation i figured people were just kind of like mm, and stayed away from them plus um i don't really like their eyeshadow formula like i've tried a couple of their palettes i tried to like you know make them work and i tried to like them and i just wasn't like feeling the vibe of the palettes at all so i feel like they don't get a lot of attention and like maybe um I'm trying to see which direction the brand is going to go in and see if I'll um, like more stuff from them. Hopefully, they come up with some more stuff this summer. But what I've tried, for the most part, I didn't like. So, yeah. Anyway, let's get into some stuff I do like. So, we're going to get into five foundations. Then, we're going to go into five concealers. And then, we'll finally be done and I can take a nap. Thank you, God. Okay. So, um, some of these, I feel like you should just know. Like, I feel like two... I feel like all of them have... All of them have had reviews on them. Except, well, let me see. Yeah, everything sitting up here has a review on it. So, I mean, I said what I thought in the review. I mean, you haven't seen the reviews in a while because some of them are older than the other ones. So, I'm going to start off with, like, oldest one I have and then we'll, like, move forward with that. So, that would be the um, Minted Skin by Minted Foundation Stick. I have the color T40. I have a good little dent in this considering I don't really use foundation sticks that often. But this is just such a beautiful product. Like, it looks like your skin but better. And then they have, like, a beautiful setting powder to go with it. And they just launched some new stuff. But they still didn't launch what I asked them to launch. I've been asking them. Dear Mythic Cosmetics, I'm going to say this again. Listen to me. Come, come close and listen. Okay, so you got this beautiful foundation. You have this amazing, like, you know, setting powder. I need some concealer. I said this last year. I said it this year in a video when i talked about them um and last month i'm saying it again we need some concealer meant to give me a nice cream concealer give me a liquid concealer give me a moussey concealer i don't care what kind of concealer it is just give me some concealer please and thank you okay but this, this foundation stick is amazing you need to try it out if you have not and that setting powder is amazing too so you need to try that as well you just need to go try the brand mix it because like all their stuff is just amazing i don't think i've tried anything i haven't liked I haven't tried their eyeshadows, but they had a boring, like, browns, everyday eyeshadow palette. So, needless to say, we knew I wasn't going to buy it. So, yeah, moving on. Okay, the next thing I have, um, let me see, is the Pure 4-in-1 Love Your Selfie Long Wear Foundation and Concealer. I have the color DG6. 
I forgot what I think Jackie said we were a DG7, but this is when they sold at Alta and they had the 20% off sale going on. So I went ahead and bought mine there. And this color actually worked out well for me. What I do is I usually put the um the darkest Pat McGrath powder on top of my face to make it like darker to um fit my skin tone better. So this would be fine for me in the wintertime, but in the summertime, I think I'm gonna drag grab DG. Um, seven for me in the summer to make sure it matches my face the way it's supposed to so I don't have to use that Pat McGrath powder for that and then maybe I can sell it because that powder was expensive and it's not really my skin tone anyway I just use it to darken other things so I'm thinking I'm just gonna go ahead and get rid of that but um anyway this foundation is amazing and this foundation actually is on sale during 21 days of beauty too so you can get it at 30% off so you might want to go ahead and check that out because this is a beautiful formula but wait till 21 days of beauty to get it it starts literally on sunday so just wait till sunday and then you can try out this awesome foundation i forgot how much it's on sale for i want to say 23 dollars 30 cent but do not quote me i just know it's 30 percent off the regular price and i don't remember what, how much i paid for this but i would definitely pay it again because this foundation is wonderful it looks beautiful and natural on the skin i have some pictures in it that just are, are some of my favorite pictures i felt like i was just looking all that and i was doing the absolute most and you couldn't tell me anything <laughs> next believe it or not i have the um beauty blender bounce foundation and the only reason i have this is because i have the matching concealer and these two together oh my god are amazing i recently did a review on this concealer and i wore the foundation in that video as well too so if you want to um check that out i'll try to leave it in the description box down below or in the cards above i don't know where i'm gonna leave it but i'll try to make sure i leave it um i have the shade 4.35w when it comes to foundation now, i do like to put um pigment drops in here the yellow ones from elf in order to darken it up a little bit because i feel like it looks a little orange if i don't do that so that's the only complaint i have about this foundation along with them not coming out with my shade the first time around um but yeah so then i have the concealer in the shade 4.20w um deep golden and these products look so beautiful together along with the other stuff i tried them with like oh my god along with their primer all their products work beautifully together. Like, my face looked flawless. I took a whole bunch of pictures. I just thought I was... Well, I didn't take a whole bunch of pictures, but I looked in the mirror all during the day a whole bunch of times because I just thought I was somebody. And, I, matter of fact, I do think I took one picture. And, y'all, it was gorgeous. I got compliments on it and everything. I was like, yes! So, like, um, I'm glad they clear... You know, they fixed their mistakes when it came to the um, shade range. And they did better this time around. So, kudos to them. And that's the only reason I consider trying it out not to mention i figured you all might want to see something on it and it actually wowed me and surprised me and i was you know excited about it um now normally with this foundation i would put the matching concealer but because i have so many other concealers that i really like i didn't even bring it up as an honorable mention because i mean it's nice but i feel like these other concealers i have could do the same thing if not better than that concealer so i'm talking about the um urban decay stay naked foundation this is actually the first urban decay foundation i could wear because i tried all nighter it broke me out then i tried what's the other one the naked one and it broke me out but when thomas halbert said it was okay for us to try this out i finally went ahead and bought it i bought it when on um, black friday when um urban decay had it on sale for i think like 26 dollars or something like that and i finally went ahead and got it i have the shade 70 w w y and again i bought uh i found my shade based on andrea renee so shout out to her because like a lot of times she gets stuff in pr i'm so thankful she does so then that way i don't have to like go searching for whatever shade we need i usually just go with whatever she says because let me take a jacket forever come over video sometime i'm like y'all has time for this i love you auntie jacket but like sometimes you be taking her forever like she just came up with the pat McGrath concealer video like yesterday i'm like girl this concealer been out for like a month so i feel like i feel like i'm clearly over exaggerated but you get what i'm saying like sometimes i just be like she be taking so long and I don't know if Andrea did a video on it or not. I think she did, but don't quote me. But I wasn't dependent on them. When it comes to Pat McGrath, I just do it myself. I, that's that's one person I don't play by. I'm not, by the way, for anybody to be able to pick up my Pat McGrath. So I'll get the wrong shade. Oh, well, we'll just exchange or we'll wait to sell and get the right shade. But I'm not waiting when it comes to Pat McGrath. I don't care who you are. We're not waiting. But again, back to Urban Decay. This is the only Urban Decay foundation I have tried that I actually wear my I can actually wear without breaking me out. And I actually like it. So Again, shout out to Andrea Renee and Thomas Halbert because if he hadn't said that people like us could wear this foundation with sensitive skin, I would have never tried it because I told y'all when it came in, I was like, we're going to try the concealer, but what we're not going to do is try that foundation. And I ended up doing my concealer video with the Dose of Colors foundation. So if you want to see how to, I, my first impressions of the concealer, you have to watch with the Dose of Colors um, video because I'm pretty sure that's where I tried that and concealer for the first time. 
um the last foundation i have and i feel like this one should be no surprise because i'm always talking about how wonderful it is and how i like to use it with this other expensive um foundation i mean concealers i'm about to show you but this is the shiseido synchro skin refresh foundation with um spf 30 sunscreen i have the color 510 suede this stuff is amazing like it looks beautiful on the skin all day long i don't care what you do to it it just automatically looks amazing now don't try to mix the glass glow in with this, the kevin kwan glass glow in like i did because that's why i screwed up because my face ended up looking glowy like on like like i had too much oil on my face all day long because the particles don't break up in this and I had forgot that when I had put it on. So I had did like a full squirt of it in it. So I was like, oh God, I'm, I was just out there looking crazy all day. But thank goodness I didn't have to go anywhere. So it didn't matter. But um, yeah, this is a beautiful foundation. I would definitely recommend you try it out if you have not. And I was like iffy and sketchy about trying it out. But I heard so many good things about it. And I think what sold me on it was I heard Mel Thompson talking about how nice it was. And like she and I like some of the same foundations. So I figured I'd give it a chance. And I'm so glad I did. It is amazing. I absolutely love it. So that's my last foundation. Now let's get into some expensive concealers. Now I feel like you should know just about all these concealers because three out of the four are like super expensive concealers. So I'm going to start off with the one I figure you all won't guess and figure out because I hardly have ever featured it or use it. But that doesn't mean it isn't exceptional and didn't need to be mentioned. So I have the Uma Stay Woke Concealer in the color um, Brown Sugar T2. Now I immediately knew that this was my color when I saw it on the website i was like yep that's the color i need right there i had to wait on jackie for the foundation and uma beauty actually laughed at me when i had wrote that in their comment section because i was like i had to wait on auntie jackie before i could get this foundation because i did not know which color to choose and they just laughed my comment I'm like but i was serious like that was one i wasn't sure about because andre and renee didn't even know which one we should pick and i was like yeah i'm not even about to try to tackle this but i mean to me that was a good thing because that meant they had so many um colors for people our skin tones it was like i didn't even know where to start to pick and I was living and loving all that. I'm waiting to see what direction this brand goes in. I know they just came out with eyebrow pencils recently. And then they have their carnival collection now. So I want to grab the highlighter. And then I'm thinking we can do an almost full face of um, Uma Beauty. Because I didn't grab any of the eyeshadow palettes. Because I heard their formula is difficult to work with. I don't know how true it is. But um, I didn't want to take a risk. Especially since their palettes are kind of on the higher end. They're like 40 something dollars. But I'm going to grab that highlighter palette. And I grabbed like four of their lipsticks when they had their President's Day sale. With them 50% off since Jackie raved about them. So I figured I'm going to do a lip swatch video of those this afternoon. That was the um what I was talking about when I said I had um, one more video to shoot and I was going to do it after my son gets out of school. So I'm going to do that and then we're going to go ahead and um wrap it up for the day. But anyway, back to this concealer. I keep getting distracted, y'all. I'm sorry. But um um yes, this concealer is amazing. You definitely need to try it out if you have not. So the last three, I feel like you should just know what they are. They're, I said they're all high and expensive. So i'm going to go in the order of uh, the way i've tried them out so this is the giorgio armani power fabric in the shade 875 this concealer is amazing i'm waiting for the luminous one that comes before it doesn't come to the 17th though so that's why you haven't seen the video on it yet i saw that they had it on um their website already available but it's like they wanted you to pay i think eight dollars for shipping and you had to pay taxes and all that and i was like i can just wait on it to come to um because I figured you all wouldn't have a problem with it. So I was like, I'll just go ahead and wait for that one. And then we can compare it to this one. And believe it or not, I've never actually tried the Luminous Silk Foundation. So um, I'm thinking we might go ahead and try that too. I don't know. But I'd have to find a Sephora that has a sample of it. Because it's like, I don't know what shade I need. And um, I was trying to look up people that um, are my skin tone that had it. And like, I saw some videos from Glam Twins. But they didn't leave in the description box like which color they use. So I was like, it still doesn't help me. I don't know which shade I need. Thank you very much. So now I just have to like go around looking for it. And hoping I can find, you know, like the color that I need. Because I'm like, I don't, I don't know. So we'll see. I was thinking like the color 12 when I looked at their website or like 13. But I'm like, I don't know because of the undertones and all that. And I heard this was coming out with more shades in it soon. So I'm like, we'll see. But that's like a high price foundation. So I might just wait and use the Shiseido Synchro Skin with that one and see how it goes because i'm like 68 dollars and i gotta pay like 36 dollars for the concealer it's kind of like a lot so i'm probably gonna hold off on it and wait till the um vib sale in april and then maybe i'll try it out and then if i don't like it i can always return it and i didn't have to pay like the original 64 or 68 dollars how much it costs i don't know but that's high anyway i'm gonna get into the next concealer now i feel like you should know which this one is too it is the hourglass what is this called hourglass vanish concealer in the color maple this stuff is amazing like this and the shiseido synchro skin foundation again like i like to use this or the giorgio armani with this 
Shiseido Synchro Skin Foundation because I feel like both of these look beautiful together. I don't have my uh, Hourglass Vanish Foundation Stick anymore. My mom broke it along with one of my UA foundations like a long time ago and I just never repurchased it because as y'all know, I always have plenty of foundations to choose from so I didn't feel the need to go out and get it again. And it wasn't like it wasn't a good foundation but I didn't have my exact color. I think I had the color like almond instead of golden almond like I need. So it still looked like a little reddish on me. I mean, I could pull it off with, you know, a golden concealer but, you know, since it was gone, and I had got that one a good deal and I didn't want to have to pay full price. I just went ahead and like didn't get another one. But um it's it's definitely something I would recommend. It's just more of I have plenty of foundations. I just showed y'all like like 12 foundations right now, so clearly I'm not hurting on foundation. But this concealer is amazing. You should try it out. If I remember correctly, this was $34. And I forgot how much the Giorgio Armani one is. So don't quote me. I'm sorry I didn't give y'all like prices of this stuff, but you know, like um i just don't be thinking about stuff like that sometimes and i feel like y'all been here long enough to know like i'm not really a detailed person when it comes to all that other people do all that in videos i just tell you about the product like slap it on my face and let you know how i feel about it occasionally i'll try to do it like with the silk canvas today i tried to look into that i'm glad i did because both of them cost the same price but one gives you more than the other one and they had two different claims which i found interesting but again side tracking concealer you should get it it's amazing my color again is maple and the last one I have to talk about, again, I feel like this should be no surprise because Mother Pat has not made an appearance in this video yet and you knew she had to. So I have the um, Skin Fetish Sublime Perfection Concealer and it has 0 0.16 ounces in it. It retails for $32 and my shade is MD23. This is the shade that Jackie picked in her video as well from the ones that they sent her. Um, somebody was telling me I should try 22 or 20 though. So I'm thinking I might try 20 when the sale comes along again. I like golden concealers though and 22 if I remember correctly, when I watched Jackie's video yesterday, the, they said it was more neutral and I like more yellow undertone ones. So that's why I had picked this one originally. But like, I think 20 had a yellow undertone. So I'll probably go ahead and grab that one instead of 22, like I had um, commented to that person. But anyway, I am going to get another one while it's on sale because this stuff is amazing. I see myself using this a lot through the summer along with her foundation just because it's lightweight. And then I can put a mattifying like spray over it and then use this on my date nights for the summertime because I plan on having lots of date nights and being bougie and extra in the summertime. So I'm going to use all my expensive stuff then. And then when time comes, I'll probably like pair it back a little bit and you know calm it down a little bit. But in the summertime, I plan on just acting up and being all out in these streets doing entirely too much. So <laughs> I will be using this and I will definitely need a backup of it because it's just so amazing but oh i can take it out of the package it's a glass bottle believe it or not so i was excited about that and this is how small it is compared to like some of the other ones like see it's kind of small let me see how much is in georgia armani um georgia armani is 0 0.20 ounces so it has a little bit more than pat because i said pat had 16 so that's 0.4 ounces more i just bought the um kevin aquan um single skin i mean single skin kevin aquan um the one in the pot that everybody talks about so much jackie says she wears a color 13 to like help with the darkness underneath the eyes and like around the face so that's the color i bought it was on sale for like 21 bucks on beauty Bay, so i definitely went ahead and bought that but um you also see that soon oh and i bought a ysl um eyeshadow palette too i saw mel thompson with it and i really wanted it but i was like i don't know where you get it and then like an ad popped up where they had ysl 40 percent off on um, instagram and i ended up finding that same eyeshadow palette that i saw her with that cost like 60 bucks on sale for like 40 percent off so i ended up paying like 38 bucks and that was with taxes and shipping so i'm super excited about that showing up but yeah so these are the um 10 foundations considered along with honorable mentions that um I would keep if I only got to keep 10 foundations and concealers. I hope you all enjoyed this video. I know it was kind of long because I like to ramble a lot. But um hope you all enjoyed this video. Remember you all are dimes. I'll see you guys in the next one.